By now, most people have heard that we are living in an age which is commonly being referred to as the Fourth Industrial Revolution. The term was introduced by the World Economic Forum to try and explain how rapidly emerging technologies are collectively reshaping our global consciousness, our social behaviors, our preferred politics, the cities we live in, our places of work, our management practices, and even our future careers. As the name suggests, the Fourth Industrial Revolution is not the first of its kind. Over the past 250 years, our planet has experienced three other similar technological transformations, namely the steam, electricity, and computer revolutions. Each transformed their respective working worlds so radically that they now represent a measurable point in the advancement of humankind, an evolutionary growth spurt, if you will. If there is any doubt as to the impact of technology on human advancement, consider the growth rate of our population during the course of these three revolutions. Before the first revolution, it took humankind at least 12,000 years to populate a billion people. Since then, our population has grown more than sevenfold and is now increasing by a billion people every 15 years. Similarly, the maturing combination of big data, smart technologies, and complex cyber systems is going to impact our future existence in ways we cannot even begin to comprehend. Everything we currently accept as being normal is expected to evolve, just as it did three times before. That is the fundamental nature of an industrial revolution. For this reason, many forward-looking organizations are starting to conceptualize what the workplace requirements of the future will look like. Industry version 4.0, as it has been named, will require a suitably enabled workforce 4.0, and in both cases, new knowledge, skills, methods, and tools will be required. Of course, this in turn then begs the natural follow-up question. What will a suitably capable risk management version 4.0 look like? Well, in order to answer this, we first need to understand the major evolutionary forces that are expected to shape the fourth industrial revolution. By understanding how our working world is expected to change, we can in turn better understand how the risk management discipline needs to position itself. Revolutionary front number one, the combination of big data and advanced analytics. Continued advances in data gathering devices, intelligent analytics, quantum computing, and information sharing networks mean that we are rapidly transforming into a fully digital Earth whereby our entire existence will eventually be underpinned by a fully integrated global system of collaborating smart technologies. Consider a future working world comprising of an absolute global network of interconnected smart cities, smart homes, smart offices, smart machines, smart user devices, and the like, all gathering, sharing, and responding to real-time data as a collective. In 2020, our planet currently has an estimated 25 billion smart devices generating over 2.5 quintillion, that's 10 to the 18, bytes of user data each day. This is expected to double every five years, which means that by 2025, there will be nearly 10 smart devices for every human. By 2050, we should expect to have achieved full digital Earth status. Revolutionary front number two, the combination of artificial intelligence and advanced robotics. Continued advances in computational technologies, android mechanics, composite materials, and nanotechnologies will ensure that machines get smarter, smaller, lighter, and quieter. We should in turn expect to experience colossal leaps in the contributing role of intelligent, autonomous machines within our future society. Already in 2020, we are engaging in extensive trials of autonomous cars, drones, and the like. By 2050, we should expect fully autonomous industries, labor, security, and services. Also, as much as 50% of our existing jobs may no longer exist. Revolutionary front number three, the integration of humans and technology. Continued advances in biotechnologies, neurotechnologies, organic cloning, robotics, and 3D printing means that it is only a matter of time before we see the first cyborg humans with technologically enhanced physical and analytical capabilities. Over the next decade, we should expect an exponential increase in humans with bionic limbs, neural implants, 3D printed bone structures, genetic modifications, and cloned organs. By 2050, we are expecting to have achieved a full societal acceptance of cyber-enhanced human beings. In turn, humankind's increased dependence on technology may ultimately ensure that our species actually becomes vulnerable in the absence of technology. Each of these three revolutionary forces on their own have tremendous potential to alter human existence, but as a collective, they could just as easily end our species as they could accelerate it. The fourth industrial revolution thus represents an extended period of advanced threats and opportunities to its participating members. In turn, risk management as a profession is going to have to upskill and recapitalize if it is to add value to future organizations. As yet, it is not entirely clear where the fourth revolution will lead us. So 
exactly how the risk management discipline should support Industry 4.0 is almost certainly going to be a matter of rigorous debate amongst the invested risk community for some time to come. At its heart, though, risk management has always been about helping organizations to manage uncertainty, protect value, and avoid disruption. With this in mind, there are a few obvious future risk control areas that modern organizations should start planning for now. Obvious control area number one, cyber enhanced risk management. Cyber is defined as the culture of modern technology. So risk 4.0 is undoubtedly going to have to be about seeking out the benefits of new emerging technologies in helping to improve the risk management value chain. Rich real-time data supported by sophisticated analytics and complex information sharing networks has an unlimited potential to advance how we visualize, document, assess, treat, monitor, and report on risks. So not only should future technologies revolutionize every aspect of the existing in risk management value chain, they should also help to create completely new forms of risk management. In turn, risk 4.0 is expected to be significantly more data enriched and digitally sophisticated than the current version. Obvious control area number two, complex systems thinking. The fact is our working world is not getting any simpler, only more and more systemically complex. For most organizations, the ever-increasing complexity can already be felt on a daily basis. The sheer volumes of interdependent data, systems, technologies, and shifting stakeholder relationships, which need to be controlled in order to succeed, is steadily becoming insurmountable. Being educated in the broader complexity sciences, particularly systems thinking, will help future risk managers to better understand and control complex phenomena such as disruption emergence, vulnerability, dependency, adaption, and chaos. Considering how Industry 4.0 will be enabled by an unlimited number of complex integrated cyber systems, it is hard to picture a version of Risk 4.0 whereby complexity management and systems thinking are not core capability requirements of the future risk manager. Obvious control area number three, natural resilience. Resilience is the ability to respond intelligently to environmental changes. As our working world transitions towards a future Industry 4.0, participating organizations should expect to experience ever-increasing volumes and frequencies of disruptive change. During such time, it will not be possible to predict exactly when, where, how, and at what magnitude every potential risk scenario could emerge. For this reason, future organizations will need to build in a cultural, behavioral, and characteristic resilience to dealing with whatever this way may come. Naturally resilient organizations are those which can anticipate, collaborate, and respond positively to such disruptive phenomena as emerging technologies, market swings, customer shifts, competitor advances, political shocks, disasters, and even deliberate attacks. For this reason, any future version of risk management will have to be about helping organizations achieve a state whereby they are intelligently responsive to rapidly emerging environmental changes. This is the oldest and truest definition of resilience, and it will need to be one of the primary goals of a future risk 4.0. Now, although cyber methods, systems thinking, and natural resilience are not particularly new nor unique to the risk management profession, it's their criticality and contextual relevance which will escalate during Industry 4.0. Also, collectively, they will provide the foundation pillars of a future risk 4.0 discipline. If risk management is to evolve in a positive manner, then the invested community is going to have to become comfortable with a simple concept. Electricity was not invented to improve the performance of the candle. It was invented so that we would no longer need the candle. Similarly, most new emerging technologies are not being created to improve existing management methods. They are being created to disrupt existing management methods. Of particular importance to this point, is how during each of the three previous industrial revolutions, it was the most repetitive and standardized of tasks that were disrupted by new generation technologies. This observation has tremendous ramifications for the risk profession, as much of what we currently consider to be better practice is highly standardized and repeatable. Audits, compliance, quantitative risk assessments, control assurance, health checks, reporting, heat maps, risk registers, bow ties. Our working world is changing, and momentously so. Our most senior leaders are now regularly warning us that a failure to proactively prepare for a future working world of big data, unlimited smart technologies, and complex cyber systems could be both negligent and catastrophic. Risk management can be no exception to this warning. Risk 4.0 thus represents the functional state of risk management which will be required during the fourth industrial revolution.